1944 was working for the J.R. Swift Company in St. Louis, Missouri. And they were a commercial printer and had a small uh, college publishing division, as, a, as we said, the same thing that the way Kendall Hunt operates now in their higher ed, ed, ed division. And Mr. Swift uh, decided there wasn't any future in college publishing. So he was gonna close the division. And that's where Mr. Brown spent most of his time and that's where most of his income came from. So in 1944, he uh, loaded the, 20, the inventory for 26 titles in his car and drove to Dubuque and started, uh, in those days it was the Brown Book Company, uh, but started the basic company that, that survives today. Well, I, uh, well, my wife is Mr. Brown's daughter. We, uh, we had a, a very active real estate division in Florida, which Mr. Brown had been involved in personally. I was uh, working with McGladry's CPA firm in Des Moines. He came to be and offered a position to, uh, to to join the company and be kind of his eyes and ears on the real estate operation. And uh, that was that's how I joined the company in 1973. I became the president of, of the Web C. Brown Companies in 1983. And that was a, a highlight you know, at that point in my career, certainly. And so for me, the, over the 75 years, it's about um, one, the loyalty of our employees. Um, and then two, sort of the perseverance of, as Mark said, our mission. Because what we do today in college is exactly what our reps did and what Mr. Brown did to start the company. I think that's really unique in the industry. Not a lot of companies survive 75 years. And I think it's a real testament to our mission and the things that uh, we were, we're basically doing the things that Mr. Brown did back when he started the company in 1944. It's the same type of, of approach to the, to the college market anyway. So uh, I, I look at that, the continuity and the, uh, and the people that are part of the effort uh, for the, over the last 75 years. So when I think about the people here, I think about um, what I say to, to our hiring managers, you know, it's like, well, what are we looking for? Are they just a good person? And, you know, one of the reasons why we try to get our employees to help us find new employees is because we feel like we've hired good people. And I just firmly believe good people hang out with good people. They're dedicated. And then you get into the, the, the entrepreneurial piece of they're curious. They're curious about what's going on in the world. They're curious about what's happening in our world. Uh, and just, you know, at the end of the day, we have a pretty loyal group of people. I think, I don't know what you're up to in the chairman's club, but it's... 40 or 50. 45 or yeah. 50, 50 so, people that have been here about the 20 years. I mean, yeah. That's a big number for the size of a company that we are. But when I give out service awards, I've said this every year for 20 years, I run out of ways to rephrase it, but um, you know, we can have all the buildings and airplanes and stuff that we, we have, but without people, we would never have the level of success that we had. This is a, is a group effort. And it's really an effort of a lot of people that have brought this together over a long period of time. I have had always a, an overwhelming sense of accomplishment with what we at the good, our company and our products have done for the world. And we've touched an awful lot of lives over 75 years in terms of educational product. And I, I, I'm, very, I'm very proud of, of that thing. You know, I, I look at our partnerships and you know, I'll be remiss of remembering some of them, but just the ones that stand out. You know, BSCS has been with us for 30 plus years. Uh, Matt Trailers group, the Tim's group, no longer, but they were for 20 years. Um, Jerry Johns, you know, SDA, uh, you know, people like that, that really, Kathy Gavin, the gifted program, it's like, there's a lot of, you think back at what, what we do, it's based on all of our partnerships. Everything that we do is, is wrapped around these kind of things. But um, the one I was thinking about, it just recently in the last four or five years, we have an Emmy. We have an Emmy, you know, I remember Paul Cardi calling me, he's like, you know, Kendall Hunt is now the proud recipient of an Emmy. I'm like, what? Uh, I chose Kendall Hunt because Doug Morton uh, really came to my office door at the University of Denver and was looking for potential authors to publish more books. And that was really the reason I decided to go with Kendall Hunt and was very glad I did. Uh, um, and now we just published our 17th edition. I can say that the relationship over the years has been rewarding and cordial and actually kind of one of the best experiences of my life. The uh, 
the decision to go to Ingram Publishing Services changed our world and, and that was really just an outcome of the digi digital printing and the ability to do digital printing, which gave us the ability to do print on demand, which gave us the ability to do print to order, has changed our world financially and our ability to service our customers, probably more than anything that's happened since I've been here. And so um, Kendall Hunt was my first choice when I went to look for a publisher for the materials. And I was honored that they uh, they agreed. And, and again, they are absolutely wonderful to work with. Uh, uh, not only are they professional, not only do they have expertise in their particular area of business, but um, they're super nice people. And um, and I'm not just talking from myself, but my my entire authoring team. We really enjoy um, working with them. We've developed personal relationships with them. And I see Kendall Hunt as differing from other um, publishing companies in the fact that they uh, seem to be a real family. It's not just a team, it's a family. They know each other, they care care about each other um, and uh, I look forward to meeting with Janet with Barb and Geraldine and uh, Chad and Charlie at all the conferences that we attend you know here we are in 2019 and you know we still sell in higher ed still 50% of our product is, is print um, it has a digital component for the most part but k-12 we still sell probably 80% of our product is print and if you just looked at what you read, you would believe that the book is completely dead and there's no printed book out there anywhere. And that, that's, that's been true for the last 20 years. And that's what I laugh about. I'm like, yeah. you know, so what surprises me is just that it's still yeah. that way. It's just like you said it when I started and I'm like, here I am and it's 20 some years later and we're like, we're still selling books. You know, <laughs> we sell different stuff, but we're still selling, we're still printing books. Yeah. When I think about where we're gonna be in the next 50 years or next 10 or next five, I always think, well, what are professors gonna be needing? As long as we continue to go in, we have those meetings, we listen to them and we produce product that fits that need, there's always gonna be something for us to do. Happy 75th anniversary, Kendall Hunt. I am so happy to be a part of wishing you a wonderful birthday. It's been my pleasure to be one of the authors of what I consider to be one of the best publishing companies in the nation and in the world, as a matter of fact. And I will tell you more than anything else, one of the reasons why I've enjoyed being a part of the Kendall Hunt family is that I've been treated like a family member. So I'm happy to be a part of the Kendall Hunt family. I'm happy to celebrate the 75th anniversary with you. And I look forward to another 75 years and hopefully I'll be still authoring with you the entirety of those 75 years. And I think for me, uh, one of the big accomplishments was having Chad join the company. Um, he has the energy that I had at one time and has, has really come up with some wonderful ideas of where the company is, is going to head. So I look at that as a highlight for me as well. Can't help but be nostalgic. Uh, you know, I think I've gone back this year and reread the, the book of how the company started. And uh, that's always interesting to do. And then um, you feel a little bit of that sense of responsibility for where do we go from here. I remember a specific statement you made to me when I started and, and it was you need to get involved in the community when you come back here and I, I took that to heart uh, the idea is really just to we, we want our employees to be able to give back to in a way that the company supports and you know every time I brought that into Mark to say hey what do you think of this he's like hey that's great let's let's do it let's give it a try let's see how it works um, and I think just even like this the latest things that we've done you know, I just hear so much positive from our employees. And you know there's positives on the other end from the people that are getting what we're giving. Sure. But our employees are happy to do it and they get excited to do it and it kind of broadens their horizon and they're they're excited about it. And I think that's that's what means the most. To to uh, give back to a community that has obviously been good to us, uh, I think it's something that's always been in our kind of in our DNA, if you will. So when I think about um, where we're going in the future, what that means for us, I always go back to thinking about how did we start? How are we where we are today? And it always leads me back to William C. Brown walking into professor's offices 
finding out what they needed and then producing what they needed. Now at the time it was biology lab manuals. Today it's the box of rocks, um, which we literally sell because that's what a professor asked for. And we sell them a box of rocks for geology students. When I think about where we're gonna be in the next 50 years or next 10 or next five, I always think, well, what are professors gonna be needing? As long as we continue to go in, we have those meetings, we listen to them and we produce product that fits that need, there's always going to be something for us to do. You know, as I look back over the 75 years, I think the thing that has made our company successful are the people that have chosen to be a part of our organization. Um, we could have all the equipment and buildings and airplanes and computers that we have, but without people that are dedicated to the, the mission of our company, and have been loyal and with us for a long time, we would not be nearly as successful as we, as we have been. So I'd like to say thank you to all the people that are currently associated with Kendall Hunt and those that have been part of our, our past and say it's been a great deal for me to be associated with you and I think you've all done a marvelous job in growing Kendall Hunt and moving it forward.